Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Proper. And today we are going to see something special. My mom told me I was special, but it's different. <laughs> A satellite dish. Yes, we are going to be uh, talking and uh, working with uh, satellite communications for prepping and otherwise. There are two kinds of satellites that amateurs use, uh, mostly the fast movers. So they appear on one side of the horizon, they have an elliptical trajectory and they go out the other way. They're very fast, low orbit satellites. Those mostly are, you know, the, the bulk of the amateur radio satellites. Now, for prepping purposes, I wouldn't be so inclined to use them because, of course, you have to know when and where they're going to appear and their trajectory, and you have to follow them with a Yagi antenna, you know, in 70 centimeters and 2 meters mostly, and uh, target the course of the satellite to be able to make a contact. And you don't have much time. It's like 10, 15 minutes. I'm not quite sure. I've never done it. but. The good part about it is that you can use a regular little uh, HT uh, portable uh, uh, walkie-talkie and that works fine. Now the other kind of satellites are the uh, high orbit satellites that are geostationary, meaning that they move at the same time the Earth is moving. So for us, to us, they seem to be immobile. And that allows us to point a dish at the satellite and it's not going to move. Well, we're both moving, but <laughs> its position is going to be fixed in regards to the surface of the Earth. And that's awesome because, of course, you could use it, you know, it's always going to be the same, same uh, uh, heading and same uh, angle. So it's easy to find it back and use it regularly, even uh, for portable operations. This video is going to be a multi-part video, so this is part one, and it's going to cover reception of the signals from a QO100. Interestingly enough, it's called QO100 QO because it's the 100th uh, amateur satellite. It is located 36,000 kilometers above Qatar. It is a Qatari uh, television satellite. It's gigantic. And it covers a wide part of uh, the globe, mostly Africa, uh, east to the uh, west to Brazil, <laughs> and east to uh, South uh, East Asia. The uh, technical side of it is managed by a German company, and you can find all the information about QO100 on the AMSAT DL website, uh, link down below. All right, so before I show you all the stuff that I have here for reception, uh, my opinion about satellite communications for prepping. I think it's, it definitely shouldn't be your first option at all, because of course uh, you have something that uh, you don't control, that, uh, that could go down, that could be taken down, either by a solar flare or uh, who knows, a killer satellite. <laughs> I don't know. There are many possibilities and many reasons why uh, a satellite like that could go down. That's why I much prefer using HF and, uh, and that's all there is to it. But it's a good thing to have maybe just for the fact that it's uh, geostationary, like I said, and it could be used to contact a lot of people on a very uh, big portion of the Earth uh, without too much trouble because you're not dependent on propagation. So I would use uh, QO100 or any geostationary satellite. I just don't want to get into the fast movers, low orbit that you have to chase around. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, very practical, basically. All right, so let's see the gear. Now, this is a very small satellite dish. It's 40 centimeters. Uh, AMSAT, uh, you know, suggests a, at least a 60 to 90 centimeters. So that's, all, that's about three feet wide, basically. And that's much less than that. Will it work? Probably, but you know, you might need it to use a little bit more power because it's not going to be, uh, well, if you're transmitting with the dish, of course, because we are going to do transmission as well, not in this video, but uh, the next one or the one after that. The dish gives you uh, an absolutely unbelievable amount of gain. I think it's more than 30 decibels. So 
think of it as basically like a reflector, you know, like as if you had a shiny surface and here, instead of having this uh, receiving head here, which is called an LNB, you would have, say, uh, you know, a frying pan with an egg. <laughs> and it kind of works like that. So basically the signal bounces on the dish, concentrates on the focal point here on the LNB. Now the signal that we receive from QO100 is on 10 some gigahertz. Now that's a lot. We don't have radios that do that. I don't certainly. But those LNB uh, are used for a television and they receive 10 gigahertz and they output 729 or 30 megahertz, something like that. I'll find the frequency for you later. Basically, that is the antenna and converter for the frequency. So a step down converter for the frequency. And that will allow you to use a regular SDR dongle. Well, that's a box, but you have USB dongles too. That's USB as well with an input for HF and UHF VHF. So we are going to use the one for a UHF, of course, and receive the signal on the computer. And that's how we are going to receive uh, our uh, reception of the satellite. Now, later for transmission, I think I'm going to use a, uh, a Hack RF, uh, Hack RF1. And that's a, a card, a USB card also that can receive and transmit as well. Now, the LNB has a, con has a converter into it, so it has to be powered somehow. To power it, it needs, you know, 12, 13 volts uh, DC. And for that, we have a little circuit here because there is no plug. There is no way to, to power this other than using uh, this little card. So it is powered through the coax connection, but it's DC. DC is injected into the coax and powers the LNB, which then will send a signal to uh, your USB uh, SDR and down to the computer. And that's it really, that, that's all you need to receive a QO100. Uh, just uh, the dish, the LNB, the BIOS, uh, which is a little card I showed you there, it's called the BIOS, and uh, an SDR receiver, and that's all. Uh, it's fairly simple. Now, transmitting is a little bit more complicated, but uh, we're going to see that, as I said, in a, in a future video. And now we're going to see a reception. All right, so I'm at the park here on the south is over there. I think it's about 150 some degrees, but uh, anyway, the sun is going down, so I hope I'll have time to do this. I did see a signal but it was uh, it was very quick and it, then it stopped so i didn't have time to listen to it the setup is uh, pretty simple so i have the uh, the dish there the uh, lnb connected to the bias that's little uh, white box there that i uh, i made and it's powered by a power pack and uh, it goes to the sdr which goes to the Mac right there on the table. So very simple, there isn't much to it and uh, it seems to work, but uh, I have to find a signal now. Ah. Uh huh. So it is drifting a bit, uh, people are drifting a bit, I think that's pretty normal, not desirable but, but normal. Uh, 
So, a uh, great result. I'm really, I'm really surprised. I mean, I was expecting it, but uh, you know, it's always uh, always good when something works. And uh, actually, the reception is pretty good, even with that small uh, parabolic antenna. Uh, now I just have to uh, transmit. <laughs> so that's going to be, of course, for the next video. But it's going to be some time because I have to buy more equipment. And now I really want to try. I'm really motivated. Uh, F to try this because uh, well it does work and it's uh, it's quite amazing until i get the stuff uh, <laughs> have a good one